guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to keep the camera rolling while I try to declutter my entire clean, vegan, and cruelty-free beauty makeup collection. I am already anticipating that we are going to have a couple tough decisions. <laughs> We, me. I wish you were here to help me make a couple of these decisions. But I also have a couple products that I know I'm gonna get rid of. So buckle your seat belts, chillins, because this is probably gonna be a pretty lengthy video. But I'm also really excited to just get started and then end up with a makeup collection that I really, really love that is decluttered and organized. So I'm ready to jump into the thick of it. Let's do it. So I only have five primers. <laughs> only. Starting off, I'm just gonna grab the stuff that I know for a fact I'm going to keep. So this Exa Primer is brand new and I actually have really been enjoying it. I think it does really well for like smoothing, which is kind of rare in clean beauty. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Then my Mineral Fusion Color Correcting Primer. I really like this because it's the only green primer that I have that'll actually deal with like my rosacea and stuff on days where I'm really red. So I'm also going to be keeping this. My Honest Beauty Everything Glow Primer is maybe getting close to being expired, but I actually think I'm going to hold on to this one too, just because I really enjoy being able to add it to stuff for like a little extra glow if I want to add it to a foundation or whatever. It's just really, really good for glowy days. And then I also know that I'm going to keep my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I do dip into this sometimes. I don't use it all the time, but it's the only putty primer I have. And I feel like because it's putty, I can really press it into my pores when I really want my pores to be like filled, filled. So uh, I'm going to keep this too. And then I think it is time to say goodbye to this Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. It's just really expired at this point and I just need to get rid of it. All of the products that I am not going to keep are going under my tripod toward the camera, so goodbye. <laughs> the next part is my foundations, which is a slightly bigger collection. For this one, I also know a couple that I'm definitely going to keep. I just got this Bare Minerals original foundation, like the powder foundation. I really like this so far. It reminds me a lot of the Alima Pure one, and I just, I want to hold on to it for sure. So I'm going to keep this. Next, another pretty new foundation to my collection is the Exa Beauty. I really, really enjoy this one so far, so I'm definitely going to keep that. Along the same lines, this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, I'm wearing this today. You probably saw it in the intro. I really love this. It's just a great overall product. And then I also really, really love my e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. I used a lot, so these two are keeps. The Thrive CC Cream and the Pacifica Alight Clean Foundation. I haven't reached for either of these a lot lately, and both of them are really great products. I just kind of want to use them more. So I do think I'm going to hold on to these two, but they're kind of like in a different tier from the others. All of this is stuff that I'm not totally sure about. So let's just start with this minted stick. I actually do think I'm going to keep this, but the reason why I'm questioning it is that I got the lightest shade that they have, and I really love the formulation of this foundation, but as you can tell, it's just kind of dark for my skin tone. When I'm tan, I can use it. So I think I'm going to keep it just because it is relatively new. Next, the Well People Foundation Stick. Frankly, I have been waiting to get rid of this for a while. I remember people saying that it was good. It is so gummy and thick that I just can't do it. I just really don't like this foundation. So it is gonna go. This little container here is just the leftover Alima Pure foundation that I have. I basically was just saving it for a special occasion because I love this foundation so much, but honestly, I should just buy a new one. This is probably expired at this point. So I'm just gonna empty this out and keep the container for something else. This is a little sample size of the Pacifica Alight Multi-Mineral BB Cream. I don't like this because it is really, really shiny. It ends up making me look oily and I have super dry skin, which is just odd. It's just impressive that I can do that. So this one is a pass as well. This Mineral Fusion Foundation, I'm not a huge fan of pressed foundations anyway, so I've been debating getting rid of this for a while. The only reason I really kept it was because I didn't have any like tinted foundation powders, just in case I want like a little extra coverage on top of an already like liquid look. But now that I have that Bare Minerals one. I just don't think there's any reason to keep this, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Let's talk about Physicians Formula products for a second. I have both of their foundations. I'm sure they have more by now too. It's a really big brand. The Healthy Foundation, I love. I like the applicator. It's got this like big doe foot that I really enjoy using. The amount of times I use this has gone down so much because I don't wanna use them on my channel because they're 
kind of not cruelty free anymore. I did like this foundation more so than the Organic Wear Silk Foundation Elixir. So I do think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This I think is my first maybe. I have this little bucket basket thing that I set aside for the maybes. So this is the first one that's going in there. The Vapor Foundation, it kills me to say this, but I probably should get rid of this. Oh, I really, really wanna put this in the maybe, but since it's expired, I probably shouldn't. Okay, Samantha, let it go. Then finally, the Honest Beauty Foundation. The foundation, as you can see, has gotten some use. As you can tell, it's way, way, way too dark. I could use it as like a bronzer sometimes, but I have bronzers I like way better. This is a pass. And then the Spurts Bees Mattifying Powder, I bought relatively recently as well. This was like a spur of the moment CVS purchase. I actually do kind of like it because it is the only pressed thing I have that's kind of easy to travel with that I can set things down with if I want a little more coverage. I do think I'm gonna hold on to this for a bit. Next is concealers. I know for a fact I'm keeping the Bare Minerals Powder Concealer that I just got and the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. Both of these I am using so often right now. I'm absolutely loving them. So this is a must they're getting kept. This is a little sample of the Well People BioCorrect Concealer. I didn't hate it as much as the foundation, but it's just a very sheer concealer. It's also almost up, so I'm just gonna get rid of this sample. Okay, so this Burt's Bees Concealer is way, way, way too light for me. I don't know if you can tell. I knew that it was light too when I bought it, but I really wanted to try it in every store that I went to for a while just didn't have my shade. I guess it was the most popular or something. So I ended up going with something super, super white, and I just don't use it anymore because of that. But surprisingly, I actually really liked this concealer, but I do think it's time to get rid of this one. The Thrive Cosmetics Waterproof Primer. I keep it with my concealers because it's the Eye Lift 360 and it does really well for almost priming concealer. It makes the under eyes look really, really great. This is getting kept for sure. Down to these three. So we've got the Pacifica, the Ilia, and another Physician's Formula. The Ilia is, I know, gonna go in the maybe pile. This was just one of those situations where I thought I was getting a shade that wasn't necessarily gonna be highlighting, but was gonna match my skin tone really well. That would be great for the under eyes and such. It ended up being just totally different than the picture that I saw online. And since this actually has kind of an orangey hue to it, I use it as a color corrector sometimes under concealer. So I think this is gonna go in the maybe pile just because it's a nice product. I just wanna make sure that I have use for it in my collection. Oh my gosh, guys, I just realized that I'm missing one of my concealers. And then I realized that I have a little like kit of makeup in one of my bags that I forgot to bring out. Hold on, I'll be right back. This is the one that I forgot to grab. And also in that little bag, I had my Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. This is a keep. And actually the Mineral Fusion is too. This is the little like color correcting duo. Talking about the color correcting uh, with the Ilia concealer made me think about it. I love this. I use this probably just as much as the e.l.f. and the Bare Minerals right now. Those are like my three holy grail concealers. And then left we have the Liquid Cover Full Coverage Lasting Concealer from Pacifica and the Physician's Formula like Concealer Twins Duo. Part of me wants to keep the Pacifica just because the only other liquid concealer I have have is the e.l.f. one and that is really really hydrating. Um, this is probably feels a little thinner and is maybe the same coverage if not a little more full coverage so I think I'll keep this and then this one I just plain don't use very much. I think someone else might enjoy this a little more than I do. I've barely used it too. Next are my powders and this is a pretty easy decision for me. So Honest Beauty and Well People, probably e.l.f. too. All love them, use them a ton. The Pacifica powder works really, really well, but the scent is overwhelming and it truly drives me away from this product just because I don't want to inhale it ever. I feel like it actually sticks in my lungs. I mean, it is such a strong scent. I just, I think I need to get rid of it. So we are moving on to bronzers and highlighters. There are a few products here that I've been waiting to get rid of for a while. One of which is the Lily Lolo Contouring Palette. Another thing that I've wanted to get rid of for a while is this RMS Beauty Palette. This is the Luminizer X Quad. All four of these have coconut oil and I always break out when I use them. As far as stuff that I know for sure, I'm gonna keep Honest Beauty Dusk Reflection Luminizer. Absolutely love it. It just gives a really healthy sheen to the face. Also the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow. Both the bronzer and the highlighter, both of these are new to me. I really, really love them too. So I'm gonna keep these. The Butter Bronzer, I am going to get rid of. This is so scented. It's really a lot. And on my sensitive skin, I have to be careful with the way I apply it or it will irritate me. Oh, that Ilia one was hiding under my knee. 
I know for sure that I am keeping the Mineral Fusion Luster Bronzer Duo. The Cocoa Kind Sticks I am going to keep, but mainly because I use them so much on the eyes nowadays. They're just so easy to throw on the eye for an overall like shimmery, slightly colored, like tinted look. All of the stuff that remains is kind of a tough choice for me. The Alima Pure Bronzer and Highlighter that I have are both expired, but I really don't want to get rid of them. They still don't irritate my face. I'm actually wearing them today on the face. This Mauna Loa bronzer to this day is still the best bronzer I've ever used. It is just so natural on the skin. It is just great for my skin tone. It's gorgeous. This Lumina highlighter I like maybe a little less. I'm just not totally in love with the shade. I maybe would pick a different one next time, but it's still a very nice formula. I just need to think about those two a little bit more. This e.l.f. bronzer is honestly really good. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. I don't reach for it a whole lot because I have a few other bronzers that I like, but it's also the lightest bronzer I have. So it's really nice to use when I'm pale. It's better than my other bronzers for that. So I might hold on to this for a while. These two products are from Physicians Formula. It's their organic wear line. These two products are really, really gorgeous. And frankly, I think that I will still use them. So these are two Physicians Formula products I am going to hold on to. Both of these products are things that I have kept around solely for the purpose of mixing with foundations when I want a little more glow. This one is the Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter. This is the Pacifica Get Lit Highlight and it's in the shade Topaz. This is probably expired. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this. The Ilia Liquid Light, the only qualm I have with keeping it is that I have this liquid one from Bare Minerals that I also could mix with foundations now that is maybe even a little more natural looking. They're both just very similar products. So I think that since this is a little older, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. And then as far as these products, I think I'm going to keep the Mauna Loa bronzer, even though it is expired. Don't try this at home, kids. Don't follow my example. But I do really, really love this product. It still works for me. It's not irritating my skin. So if it starts doing that, I'll get rid of it. But otherwise I'm gonna keep this. These two products, however, I think need to go in the maybe bin and I'll just come back to them in a little. Bit. Okay, I had to take a little bit of a break and just get some coffee and relax a minute because uh, this is a lot altogether to film. But we are back and we have blush. Again, with this little collection, I think it's just gonna be easier to root out the stuff I know for a fact I don't wanna keep. One of those is the Well People. Man, I am really just hating on Well People in this video. This is their multi-use stick. It is such a pretty color but it fades off the face so fast. And I don't know why my skin just eats it, but I can't get it to stay on. This has gotta go. This is the Hint Beauty Alto Radiant Blush in the shade Alluring Peach. They sent me the sample with the concealer that I got from them almost three years ago now, and I loved it, but I've been making this tiny little sample last for special occasions for so long. It's probably expired at this point, and frankly, there's not much left in it, so this is gonna go. So as far as things I know I'm gonna keep, I'm going to keep this Mented Blush, the most gorgeous peachy orange blush. It's got some shimmer to it. It just looks amazing. Another thing that I actually have on my face today is this Ilia Multi Stick in the shade At Last. I use this all the time for like a monochromatic look. I'll put it on the cheeks and the eyes. It's one of my favorites, so I'm gonna keep that. This Bare Minerals blush in the shade Mauve Sunrise. It came with my Bare Minerals haul video. If you wanna check that out, I'll put it in the cards for sure, but I really love this blush. I'm gonna hold on to it. My Thrive blush in Angelina is an absolute save. I really, really love this, especially around the holidays. I just feel it gives like a really nice, just reddish glow that I don't get from other blushes. This is beautiful. The packaging is amazing. I really love Thrive's products. I'm going to keep this. Honest Beauty Cream Blush in Peony Pink. Definitely going to keep this. So these two blushes are actually very similar. This is the Elf Blush and the Mineral Fusion Blush. Since I have two of them basically, and this is newer and a much better formula, I'm going to keep this Elf Blush and get rid of the Mineral Fusion. Burt's Bees Blush. I've talked about the Burt's Bees Blushes. I've showed you guys this before, but I don't think you've ever actually seen me apply it in a look. And that's because I thought I was going to like this Toasted Cinnamon shade and I don't love it. And I even try to use it as a bronzer sometimes, but it's almost a little too orangey and warm for that. I really like the formulation. I think I really just need to go and pick up a different shade in this formula. And then these two products. I've sung this Living Libations Blushing Balms praises for such a long time, and it is so expired. I told myself I was going to get rid of it in this video, and I'm going to make myself do it. It's got to go. 
the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Dewy Blush Elixir. I wore this in a video recently. I forget which one. It might've been my fall makeup tutorial video. This looks really pretty on. I will say that. And it also doesn't dry down. Honestly, I think I'm gonna get rid of this too, just because I bet I could combine one or two of my other blushes that I have to make a similar shade to this. There are a couple categories now that are going to be really easy. This is my brow category. I am keeping my Wow Brow, my Burt's Bees pencil, the e.l.f. pencil, and the e.l.f. eyebrow kit and I'm getting rid of the Specifica Stunning Brows Eyebrow Gloss and Set. It pains me, but I have just completely used this up. This needs to go in my empties. Mascaras. This is the newest addition for me to my mascara, and I am loving it. I'm wearing this today. This is the Kosas The Big Clean Mascara. This is a keep. The Burt's Bees Nourishing Mascara and the Thrive and the Bare Minerals Love Every Lash. These three are absolute keeps. My Honest Beauty Mascara is frankly just old at this point. I do want to repurchase it, but I don't think I should be putting it on my eyes anymore. So this is gonna go. Burt's Bees All Flutter Mascara is terrible. I used it once and unfortunately it is nothing like the other Burt's Bees Nourishing Mascara. It's just not good. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I think it's time to get rid of my Inica Long Lash. Not that I didn't enjoy this, but it's not my favorite and I think it's probably getting close to being expired. So this is gonna go. The Physicians Formula Organic Wear Mascara. I actually did enjoy this way more than I thought I would because it gives a very, very natural look. I don't think it's unique enough to keep, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And then my Well People and Ilia mascaras, I actually do really enjoy both of them. My sample sizes came a while ago, probably over a year ago now, so I probably should get rid of them. But I don't think either of them are irritating my eyes yet, so I might hold on to them. Okay, so all of this is eyeshadow primers and eyeliners for the most part. Stuff I know for a fact I'm getting rid of. The Burt's Bees retractable pencils. I swear I have another one, but I don't know where it is. They're terrible. They have no pigment. I just, they're gone. They're gone. All of my Say Moi crayons, I absolutely love. They're super pigmented. They allow me to experiment with all kinds of fun colors. So these are all a definite keep. The Thrive Cosmetics Eye Bright. I always keep it with this stuff because I don't know where else to keep it. This is really, really nice. I enjoy it. Definitely gonna keep this. These are the only two eyeshadow primers I have and they work for very different reasons. One of them is a little bit more sticky and one of them is a little bit more matte. So I'm gonna keep these. Then I have a Pacifica pencil for eyeliner and a Burt's Bees pencil for eyeliner. Both of them are really great. I think I might prefer the Burt's Bees to the Pacifica, but I use a black pencil eyeliner so much. And since they're both pretty good, I think I'm just gonna hold on to these because I know I'm gonna, if I just hold on to one, I'm gonna whittle it down. So I'm gonna use both of these up probably within the next few months. Here's where it gets interesting. These are all of my eyeshadow palettes. I am just gonna go through them really quickly and make sure that there's nothing that I could get rid of. This is my Honest Beauty Get It Together palette. Great, love it, keeping it. This is the newest addition to my collection. This is the Johnny Concert eyeshadow palette. All of these are shimmers. Really gorgeous, loving this. Obviously, I'm going to keep all of my Aether stuff. I did forget to put this Aether palette in the cheek section of the video, but I love this. These are probably my favorite blushes that I own, so I'm definitely, definitely gonna keep these. Ilia Warm Nudes, keeping it, done. The e.l.f. Bite Size Quad in the Rosewater color, love it, keeping it. Nubian Coral 3 palette from Juvia's Place, absolutely gorgeous. The shimmers in this are so intense, I love it, keeping it. This is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur palette in the colorway Dawn. I really love this, I actually have this on my eyes today too, keeping it. Ooh, the Well People. I do feel like I don't reach for this very much and I have a lot of these same browns in the Honest Beauty palette. And especially if I combine the Honest Beauty with the Ilia Warm Nudes, I feel like I could find all of these. So maybe I am going to gift this to someone else. I haven't used it very much at all. And I really can think of several of my friends who do a very natural look like this very often and would probably appreciate this. So this is gonna go. My Organic Skin Co palette. I I am going to keep. Oh, this too is the e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow. And I actually think I am gonna use it. This is a palette that you guys do not see very often at all on this channel. And that is because it is not cruelty-free or vegan, I think. Maybe they're cruelty-free, I'm not sure. This is the Profusion Wanderlust palette. This was a gift that I could go into, but I'm not going to right now. But I do hold on to it because one, I don't wanna waste it. And two, it's the most colorful thing that I have. It just has some sentimental meaning to me too because of the person that gifted it to 
me. So I am gonna hold on to this. Then we have this Pacifica palette. These are their hemp infused eyeshadows. It's not my favorite formulation, but for some reason, don't know if I'm ready to get rid of it. They just have some really interesting colors in here too that I don't think I own elsewhere. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile and we'll come back to it. Whew. Okay guys, we're really getting down to it. We're down to lips. Final category. These are my lip liners. Thrive ones, definitely keeping. The Mented Lip Pencil in M5, absolutely love it. Oh, this is where my other Burt's Bees retractable eyeliner was. I don't know why it was included with my lip liners, but this is a toss. I do have one non-Clean Beauty lip liner here, and it's actually very similar to the Inica one that I have. Frankly, I think the NYX one, since I do still own it, and it's so similar and has a lot better staying power, I think I'm gonna keep this and get rid of the Inica. This Pixie by Petra retractable one has some pretty good staying power. This I definitely will keep because I do use it quite a bit. For my actual lip collection, I broke it into two categories, which is how I actually organize it when I have them like in their bags or boxes in my collection. So the first category is sheer or basically just like non-opaque lip products. So that's lip glosses, tints, balms, stuff like that. I think it's gonna be way easier for me to just say what I'm not gonna keep in this because there are a couple things here that I've been eyeing for a long time that I'm just, I'm done with. This is one of them. This is the Burt's Bees Lip Oil. Next is the Mineral Fusion lip crayon. This is a really pretty color. The top will not stay on and I also just don't use lip crayons very often. Oh my gosh, this, you guys might remember if you saw my e.l.f. video from a long time ago. This is supposed to be a primer on this side, which it looks like a concealer. It's super opaque and very weird on the lips. It dries down really like, I don't know, it just cracks and doesn't look good. And then it has a plumping side that's super cinnamony and really, really hurt my lips. So this 100 percent is going. It's a miracle I didn't throw it out before now. Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. I love their tinted lip balms, but this is really old and just needs to go. Both of my Pacifica Tinted Lip Balms, I absolutely love. They both just provide a really pretty shade and I love to have around as just like a little bit of a tint, so I'm definitely gonna keep these. All of my mented, oh, there's another one somewhere. All of my mented lip glosses are absolutely a keep. I adore these. Bare Minerals Plumping Gloss, gonna keep this. Thrive Lip Gloss is the best lip gloss I own by far. It even beats out the mented. It just looks amazing on the lips. Definitely gonna keep these. The Physicians Formula Organic Wear Lip Balms are really, really nice and hydrating. I've basically used this one up. I think it probably needs to go. I can't get any more out of it, but I am going to keep the clear one. Both of these are actually the exact same thing, just different packaging and different sizes. These are the Ilia lip conditioners in the exact same shade too. I have this in the shade forever. I still have my mini that I got a long time ago, but then recently in the Credo sale, I ended up getting a full size of it, which I'm so excited about. This is what I'm wearing today on my lips too. I love this so much keeping them forever. This Pacifica lip gloss is just a hue that I will basically never use. I would much rather have a clear lip gloss like this e.l.f. one. Okay, sorry if the camera angle is a little different. I had to go uh, change out my battery. I am going to keep both of these because they are the most vibrant products that I have. My Cary Grand Lip Whip, this is something I just got in the Credo sale. It's great, I'm gonna keep it. The Burt's Bees Pink Lip Gloss, really nice. I like it, Burt's Bees Crayon, love it. Gonna keep these. And these two Physicians Formula Maru Maru Butter like sticks, I am going to get rid of. Okay, these are all of my actual lipsticks, the opaque version of my lip collection. I'm gonna start with the stuff that I absolutely love and would never get rid of. My Mineral Fusion lipsticks, love these. They are so nourishing, love both shades that I have. Keep. Red Apple lipstick, love it, gonna keep it. Kosas lipstick, I just picked this up. This is in the shade Undone, love it. I've wanted a Kosas lipstick for the longest time and I have been wearing this so much lately, gonna keep it. Honest Beauty lips, I am definitely gonna keep. Thrive liquid lip, I surprisingly would never get rid of this even though it's kind of a drying formula just because this shade, I have never found a brown 
liquid lip that looks this good on me. I'm in love with it. It's just my go-to for that, especially for like fall and winter. So this is a keep. Bare Minerals lipstick that I just recently got. And honesty, definitely a keep. Bare Minerals liquid lipstick in the shade Slay, definitely a keep. Well People lipstick. This is one of the things that I absolutely love about Well People. This formula is so great. So this is a keep. My Pacifica liquid mineral lipstick plushest lips. They have discontinued these at this point and it makes me so sad, but I absolutely love these. This 100% pure lip caramel, it is the first lip that I ever got in Clean Beauty. So it is several years old now. I just need to get rid of it. So this is a go. Pixie by Petra liquid lipstick, hate it. Don't like it, it's gone. Silk Naturals Lips. I don't remember the last time I reached for them, so these are a go. Burt's Bees Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tidal Taupe. I actually got this because Allie Glines recommended it. I'm gonna keep this. Physicians Formula Lipstick for the Organic Wear. I do not like this. It doesn't stay on very well. Frankly, it looks really funky. It honestly looks like there's mold growing out of it. I don't know what all those dots are. I just tried to get the camera to focus on it and it won't, so. Anyway, this is definitely getting trashed. Absolutely not. Elf Liquid Matte Lipstick, gonna keep it. Physicians Formula Healthy Lips are gonna go. The Elf Seriously Satin Lipstick, I want to give another try, even though I felt like it was kind of too slippy on my lips the first time. I am going to keep my Burt's Bees Matte Sticks just because they are kind of unique. And then this little contraption here are my Bite Beauty lipsticks. These were full-sized lipsticks though from Bite Beauty that I ordered and they were melted when they got to me. So I probably should have just asked for a refund, but I ended up melting them down into this little thing so that I can access them whenever I want. So I'm going to keep this too. I brought you back up to me so we can go through the few things that I did have in my little maybe pile. And I have basically made up my mind on all of these. I am going to get rid of the Alima Pure Lumina Highlighter. For the rest of this stuff, I think I actually decided to keep these last four items. So the Pacifica Hemp Infused Eyeshadows. I like these shades, so I am going to keep them. The Elf Bronzer, I'm keeping just just because I don't have another bronzer that is this light. So when I get really pale in the winter, I do think that I will use this. The Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer, I swatched again on my hand and I do think that it is a warm, warm enough shade to justify keeping it as a color corrector and putting it underneath foundation or concealer. So I actually think that I am going to keep this as well. All right guys, so this is all the stuff that we're getting rid of. And this is all the stuff that we're keeping. Just a reminder again too, I am going to do my absolute best to recycle as much of this as I can, gift it to people if I can, and I will only actually throw away stuff that I need to. I hope you enjoyed this. It feels so good to have so much decluttered from my makeup collection. I've been meaning to do this for so long. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you want more content like this, and I will see you in the next video. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes